test. Mic test. Hey guys, let me get this open here. I'm going to show you what we got for the heat shields. So, dragon scales. That's what I see anyway. Dragon scales. And they are literally louvers shaped. Very similar to the way scales are shaped. They overlap. And basically, when this thing is cooking, liquid can drip down on them and it can run very easily down the sides of the louvers. And if you look, they're actually fully tilted. And so as the grease drips, it'll run. And as it runs down, it can drip down between these into the base. But uh, it won't allow grease to drip down into where the flame is. Um, any kind of flare-up should be you know, pretty easily burned off, even if the flame were to lick up into the louver. Here, we turn the lines on. So even if the flame were to lick up you know, if grease were to collect, like let's say at one of the edges right here a little bit, you know, if it licked up, it would just burn it and it would burn it off right there. It should burn it off pretty easily because these things will be super hot from the uh, uh, from the burners underneath them. Let me just show you. So you can see the burner underneath it. And it's uh, it's aligned and overlapping. It actually overlaps the burner and leaves a crease in the middle so that it can drip down through. You can see, if I turn off the outer body, how these things are mounted. It's super rigid. Basically, you have a mount bracket that overlaps it. And the cool thing about this is this entire thing is designed to hold the heat in and allow it to move up through the assembly, through the louvers. You see heat will rise from the burner and it will end up in this tented area, and it will all release through convection through these louvers and up to where the food is on the grill grate. Um, so the heat should rise easily and have no problems you know, getting to the food, but this entire thing is enclosed, which means basically the heat is enclosed behind these shrouds, which should keep most of the heat away from the outer wall of the grill, both on the sides because of the shields here, as well as in the back because of the way that these are mounted in. In the front, they are mounted in in such a way that they have these ears on them, and they mount up against this bracket. So basically, it's completely enclosed in the front. So you know nothing can fall down and get to where the uh, manifold and stuff is because this is protecting it. And they match up with a, a pretty tight tolerance there. So basically, you have this like enclosed heat area that's allowing the heat to rise, but only where we want it to rise. And it's preventing the heat from easily flowing backwards into uh, the areas next to the sidewalls. So it should pretty well isolate our heat um, as, as much as humanly possible, really, um, and cut down on the, necess uh, the necessity for extra double walls. Um, we'll still have some double wall you know, back here, but this is, in essence, an, an entrapped heat area that is a double wall. And again, heat rises from below the burner and is deflected by these stainless burners, which will kind of act like a heat sink in and of themselves. So yeah, dragon scales. Hope you guys can see how that uh, should prevent the vast majority of flare-ups and stuff, but still allow the heat to move through very, very easily. Plus it looks really cool.